Hello cricket fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today's artifact that we're going to be covering is Prefetch. Now not a lot of people know a lot about Prefetch simply because it's in one of those places where if you end up in that folder, the stuff that you see really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let me show you what I mean. When we go into the Prefetch folder, which is in the Windows folder, these are the lists of artifacts that we see. Just weird names with kind of a bit of a hash.pf. And that's okay because we have ways of getting at that information. But first I want to tell you uh, what these are. Windows is trying to make your experience as quick as possible. So when you double click to start a program or open a file, Windows keeps track of all of the components of that program that it needs to run that file. And then it moves them into a special place in a hard drive. So the next time you go to use that program, it opens that much faster, enhances the user experience. But this gives us a bunch of forensic goodness. So let's go see what kind of forensic goodness we can get out of this. And of course, we've got an Eric Zimmerman tool that helps us do this. And it's called PECMD. Now, I'm going to go to uh, PECMD F. I'm looking at one file into the prefetch folder, and I want to look at this particular program. So I'm going to fire that. And we see a bunch of stuff go flying by. Let's go have a look at what we got here. This was the dragonbar.exe, that's the executable. The prefetch was created on that date. Modified on that date. Again, the executable, it's been run five times. The last time it was run was that date and time. The last other four, uh, four times before that are right there. What else do we get out of this? We get the volume serial number of the drive it came from so that if there's more than one hard drive in the machine or it was run from an external drive, we get to see that there. We get to see a number of the files that, go that went into firing this program. So a lot of great forensic goodness in here, but that's not the only thing we can do here. Another thing we can do here is we can push this out to a spreadsheet. So for example, I'm going to go uh, prefetch, but I'm going after the directory, the whole prefetch directory, and I'm going to push it out to temp1. And we see that going flying by and flying by and flying by because it's enumerating every file in the prefetch. And when it's done, it's going to stop and it's going to show you how much work it did. But again, this is all administrator level stuff you have to open this uh, program in. You can see it took us 10 seconds to enumerate the prefetch. I'm going to show you a trick tomorrow that will cut that down to 10% of that time. But in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.